and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz, our next meme tier Monday deck. We're going to be playing um, a deck that's all around Fizz. Like, this is built right around Fizz of um, playing lots of cheap things to be able to protect Fizz. Because, of course, whenever you cast a spell, you get to stop all of the spells and skills that are targeting Fizz. So we'll have Elixir of Iron, Brittle Steel, Warning Shot, super cheap spells to protect Fizz. Then we also have like some Maker Reigns and Shared Spoils that can do the same thing. Um, but besides that, let's see, our other units, we got some Sentries to draw cards. Because since we're playing so many cheap spells, we need to have some card advantage. So we got the Sentries in there, and we have three Salvage help draw cards. We got some Spray Fins to draw some cards as well. Other burst things are like Fury of the North to go along with Salvage, that those could protect Fizz. Um, and then the top end, we got some Harsh Winds. That are just, you know, Harsh Winds is just a great card, great in combat and uh, everything. And then also a Battle Fury to be able to use that with the Fizz. We get that card advantage from Twisted Fate as well. We get a little bit of removal with Jaw Hunters that creates some card advantage, giving, giving us a Sea Monster. Petty Officer we could use for the Powder Keg if we need it with Make It Rain or Twisted Fate. Or most of the time just using getting a one-cost follower so we can get multiple bodies here. Um, other thing is Starlet Seer. Since we have a bunch of spells we're going to be casting, we're going to be granting the top alley of our deck plus one plus one a lot with these Starlet Seers. Maybe that'll be on a Fizz. That would be nice. All right, so let's give this a try. We're going to go play over in normal. That's where we're going to play our meme tier Monday decks. And we'll see how it does. We're playing against the best deck. Frostbite midrange. Um, unfortunately... Frostbite is burst speed, so with burst speed, we can't, you know, like, they can stop, um, you know what I'm trying to say, like, they can, uh, they can Frostbite Fizz, and I can't stop it. And I'm basically just keeping, like, these Elixir of Iron and Warning Shots to uh, help protect Fizz. That was a bad use of a Brittle Steel. That was just Brittle Steel gain two life. Not and ready. That is not very good, just gain two life. My arrow won't miss. So we'll just play that thing to draw two first and uh, give the Fizz elusive. Oh, they are really wasting these Brittle Steels. Yeah, they gotta be trying to level up Ash, right? Like, that that has to be the only reason. Is that they want to level up Ash super fast. That's the only reason I can think of. Is at four out of five already. So I would have definitely traded Fizz for Ash if they would have blocked. Like, I would just wouldn't have cast this. Like, you know, I would definitely trade. Um, especially because I have two other fizzes, especially like the three two fizz. The Dang. My aim is true. I don't think I've ever seen an Ash leveled up turn five. With five extra mana, like you know, like that, that was super fast leveling up. Um, we're gonna play Sprayfin kinda seems like the better thing to play, but 
I'm gonna just play the Petty Officer to get another blocker. So I just have more blockers. I mean, I guess... I guess I can't even get more blockers. I guess I, I should have waited, shouldn't I? How's this gonna work? I can't crystal arrow. Only the finest serve. Ah, an auspicious season. Blessed by snow and stars. I'm just not gonna be able to block. Yeah, that's just gonna one-shot arrow kill me. I should have waited till after arrow and then played this. Um, this just isn't gonna work. You're boring. <sighs> Crystal arrow is on toughness, or like the health, or okay, it is on health. Um. Still just 12. I only have one thing that gets the block with Ash attacking. Our last deck was the Eminent Benefactor deck. Jack? This feels bad. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Um, yeah, Crystal Arrow, really great against me for sure. I have you know a bunch of smaller units. I've never seen Nash level up that fast, but yeah, double brittle steel, double um, the three one, you know, double two mana, three one. That was pretty great. Timo Zed. Ice fill, yeah, double ice fill archer. on Mobilitics. That's a great Mega Rain. Um, yeah, it's on Mobilitics called The Card Factory. We just played it. Um, the replay will be up on YouTube tonight in 9 hours and 20 minutes for that video, that specific video. This is a good time to share its spoils, but I also like getting you know, getting a removal spell here for free with the Twisted Fates. I don't have a, I don't have a really good emo for sad face for them. Mm. 
Battle Fury Fizz! It will be done. Battle Fury Fizz! I'll take care of this. It will be done. Mm. Alright. Just gonna let Twisted Fate die. I'm gonna I don't want to use Elixir of Iron to protect Twisted Fate, and then my opponent plays like Thermogenic Beam randomly and just kills my fizz. So we're gonna just make sure make sure we keep Fizz alive. Another day in the field. Hey Zap, a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Battle Fury Fizz is pretty sweet. Oh, love it. Um, I'm sorry, opponent. They're trying to do the Kinku Wayfinder Teemo stuff, and I'm just over here being mean. Opponent's just trying to have fun. Okay, there you go. Good for them. Good for them. Our decks felt pretty good through two two games. Of course, both games we did have Fizz, so our, our decks felt pretty good though. Um, you yeah, know, the the first game, my opponent had that awesome Ash Hand, and you know that, that happens. All right, let's go use Bloom Tooth. Festival Bloom Tooth. I know. Killed our opponent's fun. Feel bad about that. That was a nasty Battle Fury ending that game pretty quickly. Well, I'm really glad that Braum isn't a 1 5 anymore. Because 1 5 Braum was super mean. Now, it's a good hand, but I don't know if I want to keep two four mana cards because we want the spells. You know what? I'm going to just keep them. I think we're probably going to draw into spells or into Starlet Seer. Sprayfin will draw a spell. Twisted Fate draw a spell. Ah, the pluckiest Poro. What's up, Bloomtooth? Here, Shucky Shucky. That's right, Fizz. Fizz goes along with the shark. Gotta have the shark with Fizz. End round? I don't know. I kind of wanted to pass back and, and waste a couple of mana, but it's only like two mana. Probably attack. I do not want to see Take Heart. It is 
Yep, Wayfinder works with champions. It just puts one mana units into play if those units are champions. It does work. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Alright, so we got these two. I'm gonna go ahead and use an Elixir of Iron to get two damage in and also pump up the top unit of our deck, plus two, plus two. Um, you know, like that one mana would be going away anyway. I think that's worth it. Six in here, puts them down to ten. I can maybe get ten damage in next turn, maybe. Not super likely, but maybe. See, there we go. Glad we got that plus two, plus two. That was pretty valuable. That was, like, the best card to possibly draw for that. Um... Yeah, we'll play it. Oh no! On guard! Oh no! Oh, this game was gonna be over. All right, we got a we got a real game now. So I could save one thing with. I can save one thing with elixir of iron. All right, well, the two three threes should be challenging the two spray fins, and then, like, the quick attack should be challenging the fizz. And then Braum should be challenging, like, a Starless Seer or a 4 4. All right, so now, okay, well, I can only. This is the only thing that I can actually save. An auspicious season. We don't get to save Fizz. But we should still be fine. I'm gonna cast the warning shot right now while I have triple triple starless here in play. By snow uh, basically, what I'm looking at is attacking for eight. They're at nine. Uh, Twist of a red card can do the ninth point of damage, but the next unit's gonna get plus five, plus five from the elixir of iron and okay. and the other thing. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Rom's at four. Um, I don't know where I put this. I don't really want to go over a Starlet Seer. I do love me some Starless here. Deal me in. I'll just put over a spray pen. The tough Poro is going to be going to stay alive. We'll clear up some other space. Their things just don't kill any of mine. I don't have room for these uh, sentries. There we go. I say we should be drawing spells because our our deck's mostly you know has more spells than units. And this this game we have had all of these units. Eat, 
Uh, they had to have just drawn that, right? Like, they would have played that in response to the red card if they had it. They must have just drawn that card. Time for talking to. Time for coffee. Triple Starlight Seer. Ah, an auspicious season. It is easy, see? <laughs> Attack. Alright, two and one. That's the thing on normal. Sometimes you play against a, a random 4 0 deck that isn't too difficult to beat, but we get to show off our deck a little bit more, so that's good. And we're two and one. Ebon Wave getting the second month resub. Bring that back. Thank you so much, Ebon Wave. There you go, Tizzle. Thank you. Everybody get those hype votes in for our resub there, Ebon Wave. Uh, Sejuani Swain Vladimir. That could be a difficult matchup. Sejuani Swain Vladimir. I'm not sure about this make it rain. I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Probably going shared spoils on turn two. Yeah, we'll go share it spoils on two. Love it. Love three, four, Starless here. All day. Card's great against Crimson Disciple. For the Empire. Alright, the Empire does some damage. The few for the many. <laughs> Who goes there? <laughs> Just trigger all of these. Blast them. Fly away while you can. Look what you did. Boo. Boo. We'll start with a red card. Start clearing these things up a little bit. Darn. I basically wanted Twisted Fate in play before, you know, like I just wanted that in play as early as possible. Don't really want to see Vladimir or Swain. Um. Yeah, so basically, yeah, that was my other option was make it rain plus shared spoils instead of playing Twisted Fate, but I wanted Twisted Fate in play before, you know, like basically the earlier Twisted Fate is in play, the easier it is to level it up, you know, then we could do like the make it rain shared spoils the, the, the next turn. Um, dang. Nothing escapes my wife. I'll try anyone you want. Alright, so we'll go Petty Officer. Maybe I should get Powder Keg? No, I'll get the one drop. That's fine. 
then if they play something that's good for me to jaw hunters you know i like how we get to jaw hunters second like where they don't really know that a jaw hunters could be coming Advent. Come here. hello dear what have you got us into now double pay for the next kill certainly hope no more transfusions No more transfusions. Okay, well, Jaw Hunters trades with a two drop and an auction fervor. That's not bad. It's nothing personal. So we go Fury of the North, I Harsh Winds. They get to create another Crimson card in hand, a Crimson unit in hand. Come, Clara, we have much Looks like it was another Crimson Disciple. I, can't wait. I didn't have the mana for Battle Fury. I do have the mana for, for Battle Fury now. And I could... Definitely considering just going Battle Fury on the Fizz now, hit him for 10. It's either that or, you know, obliterate the Crimson Curator. Also not a bad plan. I do have to be worried about, like, said, you know, like, with going Battle Fury on this, I have to be worried about them just playing Sejuani on it. I think I'm gonna devour. Stop having more transfusions. Coming in hot. I'm ready. Who's falling for blood? Sure about that? Cool, no Sejuani. It's probably their last one of those. It's been like their fourth one of those. Alright, I think we're gonna get this win. I mean, they'd have to draw a Frostbite card. Right, to stop Fizz. Like, that's the only thing they can do to stop Fizz. Here, Sharky Sharky. Had no champions and that really helped out all right let's get this win we'll take 4-1 all day oh Demacia this is where Fizz can struggle is with against challenger stuff if they're you know gonna be using challenger things to kill my Fizz I'm gonna keep this hand
worst card to draw right now. We want to draw second one. Other worst card to draw. We want to draw units. So that's what I'm looking for. So the worst things to draw are our most expensive spells. Very good. I love seeing Fleet Feather Tracker. Of course. So I love another Fleet Feather Tracker. Petty Officer is pretty nice. How we can get... Can see the okay, I was going to say how we could get... Um, Powder Keg. I suppose they could be playing Ranger's Resolve. That would keep both of their things alive. Oh well. I'm... Yeah, we could still go Twisted Fate Red card next turn. I'm doing this, though, because I want to share its spoils and, you know, force them to have Rangers Resolve, so... That's okay. I mean, so Resolve just trade one for one. Let me at him. Another Ranger's Resolve, and then we're talking about a little bit of trouble. I'm a people person. Just a little bit because of the Brittle Seals, so like not not that much. How can Brom end? Ugh, Brom could go away. That's a good card to draw. Nothing gets <clears throat> between me and my mark. Valor. So I guess I fear that. I guess I do have to kill Quinn. The problem with killing Quinn is, you know, then they'll they'll just have Braum challenge Fizz, where I, you know, wanted to use that to kill Braum, but I guess I kind of, I guess it's more important to kill Quinn probably than kill Braum. Good card. So four out of six for Fizz. Follow along, little one. My friend, you are lucky, man. I'm coming in. I want to draw. What do I want to draw? Another Fear of the North wouldn't be bad. Salvage wouldn't be bad to get the card advantage. If they're out there, I'll spot them. You're not alone. Brom is here. Okay. Hoping Battle Fury with the Fizz just kills them next turn. We gotta just protect Fizz uh, before that. The wood can't fight back, but I can. Easier said than done. Their pride will cost them. Really don't want to see repost. It's kind of the one nightmare card, but I can't stop it. 
there's nothing I can do against Repost. I just need one of these two elusives to survive. Good. Safeguard our homes. I feel this by sword. What's the deal with these people all these people playing on guard? Twice we played against Poros with on guard. Weird. Okay, well it's harder for me to protect the spray fin, but obviously we're going for it. We have we have no no other option. Let's go spray fin. Attack. I don't have a fizzy mo. Eleven. I can't say Fizz. Brittle Steel, like they, they challenged Fizz with a 3 4, 4 health, and Brittle Steel only affects things that have 3 or less health. So I couldn't say Fizz. Alright! Let's go, 4 1. It's 4 1 day. So there we go. I think this I think this deck worked pretty well. I was very happy with the shared spoils. Just getting another spell also for Fizz. That was pretty nice. I like the Jaw Hunters. The Petty Officer did just fine. Um, yeah, I think our deck... Like, the, the Harsh Winds were good. You know, like, Harsh Winds is just a great card. Um, you know, Brill Steel a great card. So, you know, kind of going a little bit more uh, Frel Yord in here. I think this worked out pretty well. And... I, I could see playing this over in ranked two. You know, I, I would think this is a deck that could do just fine in ranked. Um, won't be, won't be a, you know, won't be like one of the best decks, of course. Like it, but um, you know, you're looking for a good fizz deck that's not um, just like the all-in fizz, like where you have nothing but fizz, um, where you have like some other stuff. You know, got a little bit going on. Um, yeah, I think our deck worked out really well here. So there we go. All right, uh, that's it here for Twisted Fizz, keeping our 4-1 streak alive. We've got one more deck to play today, Heimer's Legacy. We'll see if we can keep that going. Those of y'all watching on YouTube later on, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, let, you know, If you're trying it out yourself, how's it going for you? Um, if you have any other ideas, anything you want to see next week for Meme Tier Monday, feel free to leave those comments over there, too. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.